Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Banjo, Kazooie Nuts and Bolts on the Xbox Series S. And the reason why I picked this one is a funny one, but later more on that. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's only 6.9 GB. Game is on Game Pass, so if you have a Game Pass subscription, go get it right away. You can also buy it, I think it's like, yeah... 12 bucks yeah. a little bit expensive but i think it's also on sale sometimes for like five bucks or so and just get it on game pass so that's the easiest way to get it it's also part of rare replay so i would say download rare replay and this game comes with it so you can get like extra achievements in rare replay so a lot of fun but this is a yeah part of the rare replay uh games the game is not optimized for new generation of consoles of course and uh, it's still gen durango xbox 360 um, it does benefit from being played on a series s or series x let's go check it out you guys if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you really help now the channel you can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Even a little bit of hardware here and there. So. <clears throat> Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Um, I know for a fact that when this game first... This is like the, the, the third Banjo-Kazooie game. Third, yeah, you also have like, I think like a um, racing game with uh, banjo kazooie so maybe it's the fourth but it's the first banjo kazooie that came out after the acquisition of where from nintendo and um yeah it got really mixed reviews back then uh not a lot of people were liking the 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 the, the style of this game because yeah it tried something new with something original and the reason why I picked this uh, this game, and I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying that, a lot of gameplay elements that were like um, new in this game are being used in the new Legend of Zelda game. <gasps> oh, blasphemy, Maurice! What are you saying? How could you? How could you? say that the new things invented in the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom were already in this game <laughs> and they were so it's pretty funny um, yeah you can build stuff and it's not like the game itself or the gameplay is a lot like uh, the same but yeah it's an open world game that um, gives you all kinds of stuff where you can buy new of uh, build new vehicles or um, it's it's a, it's a lot of vehicle based and after 50 hours in into um, Tears of the Kingdom yeah I see a lot of stuff that they got from this game so that's it's pretty funny don't get me too serious don't go all berserk i know i know it's not the same it's just funny you know start game don't take it all too serious ready let's go so these are like cars that that you can make oh graphics by the way uh, the game ran at uh, on the 360 already at 960p um, at 30 fps it's still 30 fps so that didn't change oh where do i need to go that didn't change but um it gets upscaled natively What am I doing? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love these character designs, by the way. It looks so sharp. If they did like a, a re little bit of remastering on this game and maybe some, some FPS boosting, this game could easily go for a new generation game. Look at the fur on his on his on his legs and paws. That's pretty good. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. And these character designs are so gorgeous. Speed fuel. Trolley mark one. Uh, information. Strength. Grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I think it's a really, really, really underrated game. Game. It got so much backlash when it first came out because it wasn't like exactly the same as the Banjo Kazooie 1 and 2 and people were like oh, it's building and you need to build vehicles and you need to do all kinds of stuff uh, it tried to be original so I'm gonna say they, they were ahead of their time when this game first came out it's been 15 years 15 years that this game came out it's 28 2028 2008 then this that this day game came out and look at how it looks wow start fear start raising ready go moo I have no idea what to do. This game is nuts. <gasps> and bolts. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I went there. I made the funny. But look at this. How gorgeous is this game? Oh, and it's a lot of humor in it. Ah, what am I doing? And you can even build like airplanes later on in the game and like crazy vehicles that you're like what the freaky deaky do did just happen quit challenge Standard wheels, okay.
workshop. Oh, body. You can give it all kinds of stuff to your car. It's insane. Uh, safe. New blueprint. Trolley Mark 1. Done. Blueprint safe. Amazing. Can I get out of here? Maybe I can get into the, the second area too. <clears throat> I found a Jiggy! Look at this! This is a gorgeous world. And to, to think that this is a Xbox 360 title, you guys. That's pretty insane. Let's be honest. Bar? Bar bar. Achievement unlock, my first bank. Yay! Are there any extra options, by the way? No. Oh, wait, there's a performance mode. Okay, well, let's try it out. Right Maybe it works at 60 FPS. Maybe it doesn't. Who knew? Let's just see. Doesn't feel like it uh, does anything. No. In performance, it does nothing. It does look a little bit more dull, but it's still 30 FPS. No, I would definitely play this on uh, a higher resolution then. Look at this! You guys, that's insane! It's absolutely gorgeous, this game. And it's 15 years old. And you can build like all kinds of stuff. It has an open world. There's a lot of stuff to do. And I think that this game could easily become... One of the better games uh, if it came out today. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, you guys, I really want to thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.